New at six, the numbers are out. Experts are predicting the women's final four tournament being held this month in San Antonio will bring more than $27 million to the local economy. The economist who did that research tells our Courtney Freeman the pandemic forced some positive changes as well. Just a couple weeks until the NCAA Women's Final Four returns to San Antonio. It definitely won't look like this. This is 2010, the last time San Antonio hosted the event. The pandemic has cut the size of the event way down. The number of visitors in this case is is, is very restricted. Um, you know, for example, the, the team travel party gets six tickets, I think, for each, you know, for friends and family. But a new report released today by the San Antonio Local Organizing Committee shows visitors are expected to spend about $27.2 million. The report predicts an influx of 35,000 hotel room nights and more than 15,000 visitors. Sabre Research Institute chief economist Dr. Steve Niven prepared the report and points out that the pandemic brought a silver lining. Keeping travel at a minimum means for the first time ever, the entire tournament will be confined to the San Antonio region, not just a Final Four game. All 64 teams are coming to San Antonio and, you know, at least four of them will be here the entire time. The NCAA has released a statement saying Marriott Properties will house most of the tournament teams in downtown San Antonio. All teams will be housed on dedicated hotel floors with physically distanced meetings and dining rooms. Secure transportation will be provided to and from competition venues. But even a toned down flurry of activity is much needed positive news for San Antonio's pandemic riddled tourism industry. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News.